Hello. You've reached 415-612-1928. Leave a message after the tone. Hey, buddy. It's Don. I've been trying to reach you for two weeks now. I'm still waiting on your copy for the radio ads. The campaign launches at the end of the month, and the clients want me to fire you to get your ass over to Weird World on the double. It looks like it's the end of the line for you, Mr. Green. Incurable writer's block. A brain corroded by mind-bending drugs and dime-store alcohol. The woman of your dreams and your little girl. No more than distant memories. Who'd want to live such a nightmare?
Oh, congratulations, Mr. Green. It looks like you can achieve something after all. How touching. But this is just the first step. Writing is a solitary vice. Are you ready to face the outside world? Sure takes imagination. I'll get you to read a short story of mine. It's about this dog and he thinks garbage men are aliens. Maybe you could talk to Don about it. I heard him yelling earlier. He was going berserk, baby. The guy seems like a real hot ass. There you are. Not only do you owe me five months' rent, you don't even bother to answer my letters anymore. I can barely get by on my small pension. I have no choice but to evict you. How oh, you look like a bum. Get off the drugs and find a real job, Green. I'm going to whip my whistle at Stavros's. Hey, Elvin. Man, you are a sorry sight. I'm still waiting on your first novel. You know, I've always been there for you, but we can't go on like this. I'm through with giving you advances to sit around all day sinking deeper into depression. I'd rather remain good friends and let you find another publisher. Look at me, Mr. Nice Guy, hooking you up with advertising gigs, but you can't even write those. The radio ads for the astronaut Patty dolls? Nothing. The ones for love lax laxatives? Nada. And me? I have to refund the clients. Sorry, pal. But you're a writer who doesn't write. Too bad. Sci-fi is cool. Like that guy from San Rafael who wrote that novel about the freaks who live on Mars. I didn't get all of it, but the guy tripped me out. That's the kind of stuff I'd like to publish and freak out. Some guy from Narc Squad was grilling me all morning. He wanted to know who was dealing Crystal 8 in the neighborhood. So I said, why, you want some? You know what? That racist asshole smacked me in the face. How's Daya doing? She never come by for the albums she ordered. 
I got a ton of new stuff in. Andrix, the Who. Let's hope they release a recording from the Monterey Festival. Ravi Shankar blew everyone away. Need to hear that. It's a perfect, exotic, psychedelic music. It opens up your chakras. Well, hello there, young man. A novelist friend of mine told me a good story. Friends gather for a dinner party. They start by having drinks. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, the host has left out a beautiful seven-pound fish ready to bake. Everyone gets a little tipsy, and when the woman goes back to the kitchen to put the fish in the oven, it's gone! Nothing but the family cat licking his chops. Where did the fish go, the guests wonder. Then they have a great idea. Why don't we weigh the cat? They all go to the bathroom and put the cat on the scales. The arrow moves seven pounds exactly. There, now we know where the fish went, they say. Everyone's relieved to find this rational explanation for the missing fish until one of the guests exclaims, but where did the cat go? You could call it Schrodinger's fish, don't you think? Have a good day. So, you finished your book. Here to pay your tab, right? Poor Stavros is broke. The police are everywhere with that crystal eight coming in from Mexico. It's in the way of business. The clients are too scared to buy dope from Stavros now. Except for two local hippies. Some guy from the narc squad came by. All in black, like a crow, a tough guy. He was like something from that TV show, The Invaders. He asked about you. What's Elvin writing about? How does Elvin get high? He asked about Thea, too. She communist? She running with the Black Panthers? What does Stavros know? Scott, uh, he never knew there was a communist party in America. No way I'm going to get my skin full of lead and nam for Uncle Sam. That happens, I split for Canada. I heard sweet old Mrs. Reagan is real mad at you. You need to dig it.
If you're lucky, it's a good gig. People. The team. Elvin, you're freaking me out. Maybe you should... What are you doing? Our illustrious writer has discovered a taste for multiple realities. The T Elvin, you're freaking me out.
green. Looking for Crystal 8, maybe? Wanna help us out? Doesn't it bother you that good Americans are fighting for the free world in Vietnam while you intellectuals are safe at home? Getting high around the clock. One of these days, we're gonna clean up California. Get rid of all the lefties, hopheads, homos, and blacks. Give it back to true Californians. We didn't see you in Monterey. You missed everything, brother. Three days of total craziness. Can you imagine thousands of brothers and sisters tripping to the sound of a sitar? Some guys never came down. Otis sang, try a little tenderness. He was dressed like a prince. I'd definitely spend the night with Jimmy and Otis. Like being right between fire and style. You should have seen Jimmy. He fucked his Stratocaster right up on stage and torched it. Oh, don't you want to light my fire, Alvin? Hey, wow, you look like, if you get any of that, is they say it's some kind of, and watch out, brother. There's a guy from the narc squad hanging out in the neighborhood. Eh, it's her, there's other fish in the sea. Um, I know you've always had it. I know you've always had a thing for pretty girls with black hair. All this is most stimulating, my friend. You've finally given some meaning to your life. As one of your fellow writers said, man is absurd in what he seeks, great through what he finds. What are you looking for, Elvin? Think Stavros leaves the... Um, I know you've always had a thing for pretty girls with black hair.
got a room at your... It's your lucky day, Mr. Green. We're offering you a unique opportunity to pass through the looking glass. The ultimate trip into worlds that are waiting only for you. Worlds where reality and desire are one. Worlds where everything is possible, even oblivion. Are you ready to take the plunge into the triangle of earth, fire and air, Mr. Green? To quote one of your peers, Reality is nothing but a point of view. You have a message from Citizen Info Political Number E42H07C64. Patriot Writer, please forgive a young journalist for bothering you. According to my information, our security services have foiled a terrorist plot. I'd like a comment for the readers of History Now. 
I hope you don't mind, but I'm waiting downstairs. 